Yes, you look fantastic. Thank you. Thank, welcome back to the show. Thanks for coming on. It's so great to be here. I always man. love seeing you. Uh, do, do you spend a lot of time here in New York. Do, do you feel good when you come back and you see the city opening up? And I love this city. I went to uh, school. I went to NYU for grad school. It's where I sort of became an actor. Yeah. NYU is not an uh, easy school to get into. I mean, but No, it's it, not. Uh, but w did, you, uh, did you know that you were getting in or just... That, Okay, so I came for a callback. The, the program has about 800 people try out for the MFA program. They take 50 people for a callback and then 18 people are allowed in. Wow. So my first time coming in was for my callback to NYU. My friend lived at Astor Place, one Astor Place, which is right across the street from 721 Broadway. Oh, yeah. So that's where I lived for the three years. I could wake up at 8.55, make it to class by 9 o'clock. I'm blessed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My whole life is like, you five minutes away from school, Brown? I was like, yeah, man, I'm five minutes away from school. <laughs> yeah, what the life is pretty good. But Astor Place is uh, uh, gorgeous. Astor Place is awesome. I remember this, too, Jimmy. You, I remember seeing you in front of Cozy Soup and Burger. This is crazy. This was before Jimmy had a side part. Like, this was like, <laughs> this was Jimmy, like, low-level Jimmy. Jimmy! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Back in the day, <laughs> Jimmy would have his guitar and was just sitting down, and he'd be strumming along, just doing his thing. I'm like, hey, man, you're really good. He's like, oh, thanks, buddy, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, That's a good thing. impression. Thank you very much. Wait, I was I playing it. in front of a cozy. Yeah, dude. I love cozy sandwiches. I see. That's what I'm saying. No, no, it was cozy soup and burger. This is you were on Broadway, just chilling. I don't even know if you were like. You may have still been on SNL, but you were just like jamming on the guitar, hanging out, playing for the people. Yeah. That's who Jimmy Fallon is. Yeah. One of the that was fun. I love you, Sala. No yeah. way. Yes. That's crazy. And would you just see uh, any, who, what other society? Who else did you meet? I see a lot of people. So that's the thing about New York City. You get, you get a chance to see celebrities all the time, and everybody's very cool. You just kind of go up to people and say, hey, man, love your work. They're like, hey, man, thanks a lot. You see Bushimi, Billy Crudup, uh, oh, yeah. Sam Shepard, I remember running into in an audience. And it's, it's interesting, too, because now having a little taste of fame myself, it's really cool. You never get tired of people saying, hey, man, love your work. Isn't that great? And you're like, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? They're like, are you sterling? Hey, man, I love your work. It's cool. Yeah. And you think back to when you were and saying that to And I think back when other... I was saying that to other people. And then, so it's like, it's, it's a perfect sort of like, they're not stopping your day. You keep moving and everything like that. Yeah. And then every once in a while, you meet somebody who has like just uber enthusiasm. And you recognize it as uber enthusiasm. But it's a little strange, too, because it's like, it's you. And I'm like, yeah, it's me. And they're like, oh, my God, it's really you. And so <laughs> the, everything stops for a moment. But I remember that, that feeling of meeting somebody whose work you loved. And you can't give people the gas face. Like, that's the worst thing. When people just walk past you like they didn't even see you. So I vowed I will never give anybody the gas face. Good. I may have to go, like, get to my kids. And I'll tell you, like, I, I got a kid that needs me. I love you, too. But I never give anybody the gas. Yeah, that's, you got, that's you got to give everyone time of day. Absolutely. And say thanks so much. Absolutely. I love, is there any celeb that you have not met yet where you're like, oh, I would freak out? Hello. Hi. I, I've been in the presence of Streep three times. Streep. She don't need a first name. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Streep. I've been. Wow. She's Jimmy, pretty. Jimmy, I've been in Streep's presence three times. One time I was working at the public, and she was doing something else at the public, and she was just talking to people, and I was just standing. Camera follow me, please. I was, I was just standing there like... <laughs> it's Streep, y'all. Yeah. And she was just talking, being regular old Streep. And I'm like, no, I can't. I don't know. I didn't need, I couldn't you just, talk. You just lurked? I just lurked. That was weird. I was, I was <laughs> a creeper. Weird, I was a creeper. You're a creeper. So I'm looking forward to somebody who knows both of us, hopefully give me an introduction. Oh, I I'd think you'll two have hit it off. Yeah, yeah I think you, so. Yeah. You know her. You no. know everybody. No, no, no. I still freak out, though, and I see a street. Who do you, but do you, do you freak, you get a chance to meet everybody. Yeah. Who do you geek over? Is it more musicians? Is it more athletes? Is it actors? Like, politicians? Like, who do you geek? I, ge I geek too much. I geek, I'm super fan over too many people. I need to calm down. <laughs> I freak out. I freaked out when I saw you in the hallway. Stop it! I, I jumped I mean, up, wrapped my legs around you.
We you're do, like, get out, you're gonna do that. I'll see you in five minutes. We do both have side parts now, which was something that we talked about backstage. Yeah, yeah. This course. wasn't 10 years ago. No, this look at us. We've, we've grown, we've yeah, grown. This is us. Uh, can we talk about your new movie? Uh, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. I would love to. Uh, you play a pastor, uh, and uh, you know, I've had people on the show, we've talked about, some people say, like, oh, maybe they may have gotten their start in church. Sure. Or going on the, uh, on the altar or yeah. going to church or performing. Did you feel that way? I love church. I'm a, a deep man of faith, and so it's a, a deep part of who I am as a person. Uh, my best friend, Philip Grant, if he sees this, he, I have to shout his name out on national TV. His mom and dad had their own church, so he's a PK. And it was a basement he's church. He's a PK? Preacher's kid, sorry. Preacher's kid, <laughs> PK, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> he, his parents ran church out of the bottom of their, the basement of their house, and I would go over to his house because he lived right around the corner from me. And they would ask me to summarize, like, the Bible study. And I'd get up. You know, I've always had a little bit of the gift of the gab. And I, I love, you know, summarizing things and seeming smart. That was the other thing. I loved when his parents would be like, why don't you be more like Kelby? St Sterling K. Brown, Kelby. Went by Kelby. Why don't you be more like Kelby, Phil? Like, he's so smart and so articulate and everything. And Philip would just be like, this Negro. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this, this guy. This, uh, this, this guy. That's what I should have said. This guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I'm I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. But you, you know. Uh, so, so I would do it, and I would summarize the, the Bible study, and they'd say, ooh, Kelby going to be a preacher. And I, Kelby would be like, no, nah, I'm not. But I did know that there was something about speaking in front of people, of the performative aspects of yeah. like being in front of a crowd or whatnot. I was like, maybe I'll parlay this into something different, and now here we are. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, you, and you, you've done it fantastic, but you Thanks. can move people with your performance. Thanks. And that's what you do, and, and, and this, uh, I, I love that this, this film uh, got made, and all of a sudden, uh, Jordan Peele heard about yeah. this, and it's like, oh, I want to produce this, and Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah, they're awesome people. I just big up to Nope, a uh, great movie. Yeah. I, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, 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 yeah. Kiki! Kiki, no. Lord of mercy. Kiki, that Palmer. girl. No, she's a lot no. of mercy. Watch out, watch out. Uh, Daniel and I got a chance to do Black Panther together, met him during that time. That's right. And so he's a producer on this film along with Jordan, and he'll call up every once in a while, what's up, bruv, how you doing? I'm like, I'm great, man. He's like, yeah, we're here in London right now, man. I can't wait to get back over there for the premiere. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> He, but like, what I, that's a good day, Nicole, you, yeah. I appreciate it. What I love about being an actor right now, being a black actor, is that there's a lot of folks doing a lot of different things, and there's more than enough for everybody to eat. Everybody's got a seat at the table. So there's no sort of sense of like, if I get something, I'm taking it away from somebody else, or if Daniel gets something, Brian Henry, anybody gets something else, like everybody feels comfortable, and we get a chance to celebrate each other, yeah. and that's a beautiful place to be. I'm that's happy. great. Okay. I, yeah, I agree. Uh, so, uh, the movie is the movie's really funny. Thank you, man. It's really funny. Uh, Hunk for Jesus, Save Your Soul is the title. So, yeah. So, you know, well, how, do we, how do we set it up? Basically, the church... Basically, before the movie begins, there's a scandal that happened to these two, to the pastor and first lady of this mega church, Wonder the Greater Paths Baptist Church. Yep. Pastor Lee Curtis Childs and my partner in crime, Regina Hall, Regina who Hall. plays Trinity Childs, who oh, is amazing. Oh, my gosh. She is amazing. There's a scandal. They lose their congregation. Yep. They hire a documentary film crew to sort of chart their ascendance back to prominence as they get their congregation back. So yeah. that's what it's about. To try getting their congregation back. I want to show everyone a clip. Uh, right. Here's Sterling K. Brown in Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. Take a look at this. Now, I'm telling y'all, you should have seen this place when it was jumping. Of course, it hasn't looked like that for a while, no. obviously. No. But we're going to get that all back. Oh, yeah. We will. How this place looking all too. Oh, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Now, how on the good Lord's lush green okay. is anybody supposed to take me and the resurrection of my church seriously? If I... <clears throat> it... These are Fianos. Yes, those are uh, Italian brand. So, uh, so... We can edit around that, right, yeah. Anita? <laughs> Italian brand, so. Italian brand. So... Just in case. <laughs> Sterling K. Brown, everybody. Hug for Jesus, Save Your Soul is in theaters and on Peacock September 2nd. We'll be right back with Eve Houston. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.